Hi, my name is Bogdan. I'm the owner of DNN Sharp. In this video, I will show you how you can customize the appearance of Tabs Pro using one of the pre-built themes or building your own theme using um, jQuery Theme Builder. So first of all, I will go into edit mode, into manage tabs screen. And here you'll notice a section relating to theming. So you can load the themes either from local server or from Google CDN or a custom URL, for example, if you have your own uh, CDN server. Um, notice that uh, not all the themes will be available with, with Google CDN. The custom themes you will load uh, directly on the disk, so they will only be available on local server. Also, the themes that we customized, like the Blitzer Simple theme, which uh, which we added on popular request this is only available on um, on local server and uh, also note that uh, there is an uh, option to specify no uh, no uh, no theme this basically means that uh, tabs pro will not load anything and it will let you it will use whatever it's already loaded on the page so if you already loaded a theme maybe you want to to set it to none Okay, now on to create uh, to create a new theme. So uh, here you will already have the link to the theme roller. I'll just open it in a new window, and I will start uh, customizing it. I'll just uh, change the the color of the text. Maybe make it a uh, bluish, something like that, and I will just I will also modify the header. Make it maybe also make it uh, a blue, a dark blue. the active tab red okay so now that I have a team I need to download it I will give it a, a name I will call it maybe reddish and then uh, the CSS scope remember you have to put it dot the theme name this way Tabs Pro can ensure that um, themes will not collide. So if you have two different uh, tabs and you want them skin dif differently, uh, Tabs Pro will, uh, will do that by uh, applying this class to each of them. So if they have different classes, they have different styles. Otherwise, the style will collide and it's uh, not really sure which them will apply. Probably the la last one that is loaded on the page. And it will apply to both tabs. The same apply. Uh, the same goes for other components as well. So it's better to always specify the CSS scope. Okay, I will download the theme. And now I will go back into the application, and I will upload the new theme. Upload. Okay, so now my page reloaded, and here in the theme box, I now have the reddish theme. Okay, so I'll just select it, and then I'll go and save and save this. So now you see my tabs are uh, the text is red of the active tab. And also the content should be blue, but this may be overridden by uh, by the HTML modules. These are uh, HTML modules. So, for example, maybe this edit link did work, but most uh, most of it didn't because the HTML module puts its own styles. So that's about it. But uh, remember, these are just CSS file, and I will show the you they are stored on disk, so you can also go on disk and make further uh, enhancements 
adjustments to this. So this is the folder, is under desktop modules, tabs pro, templates and then the theme name. I'll just open this file for edit and uh, notice it's, uh, it's already uh, minimized but there's nothing stopping me to put my style here so I say reddish uh, something and then I can write my own style and then maybe maybe put it with important if there are other styles from the HTML module that I want to override So that's about it, but uh, remember you don't want to make modifications uh, like I did to the predefined themes because on upgrade all those files would be overwritten and uh, you lose all your settings. So you don't want to make modification to files that are already in the package. That's about it uh, and uh, remember that these styles also apply to the accordion controls and the dialog controls. Okay, I hope uh, this helps. Thank you very much for using Tabs Pro.